With a capacity of roughly 55 gallons, a steel drum that appears almost anonymous can remain in service for up to 20 years. Withstanding harsh chemicals, internal pressure, and repeated impacts while still maintaining a completely airtight seal. Producing an industrial-grade steel drum is the result of a tightly controlled manufacturing chain. From material preparation informing the drum body, to precision welding, rolling reinforcing ribs, followed by cleaning, coating, and rigorous safety inspections before it is approved for shipment. In this video, the Factorin takes you beyond the factory doors, revealing how a steel drum is brought into existence and the sophisticated engineering systems hidden behind a product that looks deceptively simple. Each year, the world produces more than 100 million steel drums, a pace that translates to nearly three new drums every second, supplying industries ranging from chemicals and oil and gas to food, pharmaceuticals, and industrial logistics. According to market estimates, global revenue from the steel drum industry has surpassed 12 billion US dollars annually and continues to grow alongside rising demand for safe, reliable transport worldwide. What sets steel drums apart is that they are not a single-use product. Instead, they rank among the most repeatedly reused steel objects in modern industry. It is this near-limitless cycle of reuse that elevates the steel drum from a simple container into an indispensable economic and engineering link within the global supply chain. Before becoming a steel drum, its material endures a harsh and demanding journey. At large-scale open-pit mines, overburden is stripped away by hydraulic excavators, clearing the way for rotary drills that bore deep holes straight into the ore body. Explosives are loaded into each drill hole, producing carefully controlled blasts that fracture solid rock formations. The iron-bearing rock is then scooped up by tracked excavators and dumped into massive haul trucks, each capable of carrying roughly 220 to 440 short tons, before leaving the mine and moving on to the next stage of processing. The ore's journey continues at the primary crushing station, where raw ore is broken down by jaw crushers, then pass through cone crushers to reach standardized sizes. Yet steel does not come only from iron ore buried deep underground. In the modern industrial world, an increasingly important source of raw material is recycled steel. Old automobiles, discarded household appliances, dismantled structural steel from construction sites, and industrial machinery that has reached the end of its service life are collected directly on site forming a parallel material stream alongside virgin ore. Working in tandem with iron ore, most steel plants today incorporate recycled scrap steel into their production process. Before entering the refining furnace, all scrap steel is cut, shredded, and crushed to facilitate faster melting and to allow precise control over the blending ratio between recycled steel and newly produced steel. It is this combination that enables the steel industry to sustain enormous output while significantly easing the pressure on natural resource extraction. Afterward, bundled scrap steel is charged into an electric arc furnace, where the process of rebirth truly begins. Inside the sealed furnace chamber, extremely powerful electric arcs strike down into the steel mass driving temperatures beyond 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Within just a few dozen minutes, the entire load of scrap melts down, transforming into a glowing pool of molten steel. Once the steel is fully liquefied, lighter impurities rise to the surface and are skimmed away. Engineers then fine-tune the composition by adding carbon and alloying elements such as manganese, nickel or chromium, adjusting the melt to achieve precise mechanical properties. Guided by sensor systems that monitor temperature and chemical composition in real time, the refined recycled steel reaches a high level of consistency, often more uniform than steel produced directly from raw iron ore. From the electric arc furnace, molten steel is poured into a continuous casting system where it flows through water-cooled molds and solidifies into glowing red square or flat steel billets. 
Once the required level of solidity is reached, these long billets are cut to standard lengths and transferred directly to the hot rolling line. At this stage, the billets are reheated to approximately 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature high enough to soften the metal and make it easier to shape. They then pass sequentially through massive rolling mills where each pass compresses the steel further, making it thinner, longer, and progressively closer to its final industrial form. After hot rolling, the steel continues into the cold rolling stage. This process allows for precise control over thickness while producing a smoother, more uniform surface. The final result is high-quality steel coils, each weighing from several short tons to several dozen short tons, ready to enter the steel drum manufacturing plant. After entering the production line, the steel coil is placed onto a dedicated uncoiling machine. This system gradually releases the steel while simultaneously flattening its surface and feeding the sheet continuously onto the conveyor. The now flat steel strip moves steadily toward the cutting station, preparing for the stage in which the drum body will be formed. At this point, an industrial cutting machine uses a high force blade that drives decisively down onto the steel surface, slicing it into individual sheets according to precisely programmed dimensions. Accuracy at this stage is critical. The cut edges must be perfectly straight, clean, and completely free of burrs. These two edges will later become the seam of the steel drum body. Even a slight irregularity along the cut can compromise the integrity of the subsequent weld, reducing the drum's ability to remain sealed and safely contain its contents. Once cutting is complete, each steel sheet that meets specification is transferred to a rolling machine to form the drum body. The rolling system employs sets of rollers rotating in opposite directions, simultaneously pulling and compressing the steel with carefully calculated force. Under this continuous action, the flat sheet gradually curves inward, its edges drawing closer together until it takes on the hollow cylindrical shape characteristic of a steel drum. This rolling process must be uniform along the entire length of the sheet to ensure the drum body remains consistently round, free from distortion, and mechanically strong enough to withstand the stresses encountered during real-world use. After the drum body is formed, it is automatically welded using resistance welding to create a continuous seam that is both sufficiently sealed and flexible, ensuring the drum can safely contain liquids before the joint is ground smooth and the rim is precisely shaped in preparation for the next assembly stages. After the drum body has been fully welded and sealed, it is transferred to the rib forming station. Here, the central section of the drum passes through sets of specialized forming rollers arranged around its circumference. These rollers apply controlled pressure from the outside onto the steel surface, causing the metal to deform in a precisely regulated manner and form raised reinforcing ribs that run evenly around the drum body. These reinforcing ribs are not placed at random. Each position and each spacing between the ribs is carefully calculated in advance to distribute forces evenly when the drum is subjected to internal pressure, external impacts, or stacking loads in warehouses. Next, the drum body continues through a corrugation rolling system. This process creates continuous wave-shaped ribs along the length of the drum, significantly increasing overall rigidity and reducing the risk of denting when the drum experiences impacts during transportation or is stacked in multiple layers in storage. Throughout this entire operation, the drum body is held in a perfectly stable position to ensure that each rib maintains uniform depth and consistent spacing around the full circumference. The raised rib structure not only makes the steel drum stronger, but also provides clear practical advantages during use. These ribs allow the drum to roll more easily across floor surfaces, improve grip when the drum is moved by hand or with lifting equipment, and help operators maintain better control over its direction of movement. Because rib formation directly affects durability, safety, and long-term usability, this step is always regarded as one of the most important stages in the entire steel drum manufacturing process. In parallel with the forming of the drum body, 
The lids and bottoms of steel drums are produced from separate steel sheets with technical requirements that are equally demanding. These flat steel sheets are fed into industrial stamping presses where they are firmly clamped between an upper punch and a lower forming die. When the press operates, the punch delivers a very high force over an extremely short period of time, driving the steel sheet into the die and precisely shaping it into a drum lid or bottom. Each stamping cycle lasts only a few seconds, yet the pressing force and accuracy must be controlled with absolute precision to prevent material deformation or cracking. Once separated from the original steel sheet, the lids and bottoms are still not considered finished components. Their outer edges move on to an edge rolling operation where specialized rollers bend and curl the steel rim into a predefined profile. This step significantly increases structural stiffness while creating a proper contact surface for sealing against the drum body during later assembly. An uneven rolled edge or insufficient curvature can directly affect the drum's sealing performance and overall durability. For steel drums designed with fill openings, the top lids undergo additional precision machining. Fill holes are stamped or drilled at exact locations and dimensions, after which steel threaded collars are installed to allow the drum to be securely sealed during use. These threaded systems must achieve a perfect fit, tight enough to prevent leaks, yet durable enough to withstand repeated opening and closing without damaging the lid structure. It is this continuous sequence of coordinated operations that ensures drum lids and bottoms achieve high dimensional accuracy, uniform shape, consistent thickness, and reliable strength. Each component is engineered to withstand pressure, impact, and heavy loads under harsh industrial conditions, contributing to a steel drum that remains safe, robust, and durable throughout its entire service life. Before entering final assembly, the steel drum body is sent through a rapid washing and anti-corrosion treatment system. At this stage, industrial spray nozzles apply specialized solutions to completely remove residual oils from previous machining steps, fine metal dust, and surface contaminants. Once surface treatment is complete, the drum body, lid, and bottom, each manufactured separately in different areas of the factory, are brought together onto a single assembly line. Here the lid is positioned precisely onto the open end of the cylindrical body, either by skilled workers or by high-precision industrial robots. Even the smallest misalignment at this stage can affect the drum's sealing performance later on. With the lid and bottom correctly seated, the drum body moves through a rim rolling machine. At this station, the edges that were pre-rolled earlier are compressed and flattened by steel rollers applying substantial force. This process forms tight sealing ridges known as chimes that run evenly around the top and bottom rims of the drum. These chimes lock the lid and bottom firmly to the drum body and directly determine the drum's ability to withstand internal pressure and maintain a leak-tight seal when filled with industrial liquids. Throughout the entire assembly process, sensor arrays and automated inspection systems operate continuously. They monitor geometric alignment, roundness, edge deformation, and other critical parameters ensuring that every steel drum leaving the production line meets strict industrial standards for accuracy, sealing integrity, and operational safety in real-world use. Before entering the painting stage, a temporary protective cap is carefully fitted onto the drum opening to prevent dust, moisture, or foreign objects from contaminating the interior. The steel drum is then conveyed into a fully automated painting facility. Here, multiple spray nozzles move in synchronized patterns, applying an even and controlled coat of paint across the entire outer surface of the drum body. This paint layer serves more than a visual purpose. It acts as an additional protective barrier, shielding the steel from corrosion, humidity, and harsh environmental conditions encountered during transport and storage. After painting, the drum advances slowly into a high-temperature curing oven where heat and exposure time are tightly controlled. Once the curing process is complete, the temporary protective cap is removed, signaling the end of the painting stage and preparing the drum for final inspection. After passing all quality inspection steps, the approved steel drums are transferred to the finished goods warehouse. 
Here they are neatly stacked onto pallets in specified quantities to ensure stability during handling and stacking. Depending on transportation requirements, the pallets may be wrapped with protective film or secured with straps to prevent movement in transit. When shipping orders are released, forklifts load the pallets onto trucks or containers, and the drums leave the factory to enter the global logistics network. From distribution warehouses to seaports and major logistics hubs, the journey of each steel drum continues quietly. The manufacturing process ends here, but the industrial life cycle of every drum is only just beginning. Steel drums are a silent yet indispensable link in the modern industrial world. From chemicals and food to energy and global logistics, they serve a critical role in storing and transporting materials where even the smallest margin for error is unacceptable. Behind this seemingly simple form lies a highly controlled manufacturing system. Materials are strictly regulated, welds are continuously monitored, and every component follows rigorous safety standards. Rarely noticed, these steel drums form the backbone that allows global supply chains to operate safely and without interruption. Like, share, and subscribe to continue exploring the behind-the-scenes processes that keep the world's industries moving.